so the new patch has recently dropped. Fixed Field 4 or Battle Fixed 4, that are some of the first things that are coming into my mind. Now in this video I just wanted to quickly go over some of the big changes, because there are so and so many changes made. I've read all of them, some of them are just little tweaks and some of them are major changes, and I just wanted to go over some of the big changes in this video, and then I wanted to move on and um, talk about the effects of having no visual recoil in Battlefield 4. Is that good or is that bad? But before I start, I just wanted to thank you guys, um, because I've received a tremendous amount of clips for the community montage. It's insane. I, I've never expected to, to get so many clips. So, um, yeah, thank you for that. I am working on the montage at the moment. So, um, yeah, definitely keep looking out for that. But that doesn't mean that you can't submit clips. I mean, you can always submit them. Maybe I'll make a second montage if I get enough clips. So, um, yeah, it's definitely not that you can't submit anymore. But um, anyways, let's get back on topic. Now, the first big thing that comes into my mind in this patch is the new Rush changes. And I mean, Rush was always my, my go-to game mode, even in Battlefield 4, when it, it wasn't really as good as it was in a previous Battlefield, but um, still, it was my favorite game mode. And I'm so glad that um, even in the patch notes they said, Dice loves Rush, and I really, really appreciate all the changes that they have made. Now, there are so many changes made that it I can't even name all of them. I mean, if you look at the map now, it's Flood Zone, and this map has completely changed. You, you don't even start at the same place anymore. The MCOMs are at a completely different location, and I really think that for the majority of the maps, the changes have worked out for the better. Whenever I play Rush now, I feel like it, it's given me a completely different experience because vehicles are added, vehicles are lost, um, MCOMs are at different locations and it's really, really refreshing and I, I, I just appreciate all of the things that DICE have done and I really think they did a good job on that. Now, the next big thing that DICE have added to the game is the new triage system, or the new revive system, or however you want to call it. Um, in this system, you can easily see which player is almost not revivable, and which player you have plenty of time to revive. Now, this system really, really helps to prioritize which guy you need to revive first, and just it's a great improvement from how the medical system worked before. And also, when you charge your pedals up now, there is a sound of when your pedals are fully 100% charged, so it's really easy to know when you can stop charging and actually get the full revive. Now, moving on to the netcode, uh, which is kind of a controversial thing in the Battlefield community, because, um, well, is it with this patch completely fixed? Well, I would say no. You still get shot around corners, but the amount of times that this happened has been greatly reduced. Now, I don't think that um, in the Battlefield Live, in the Frostbite 3 engine, that the netcode will be 100% accurate. Um, I don't think that that will ever happen, but at least it's come to the point now where it is acceptable and it is is playable. Now there are so many more changes made with this patch that um, it's impossible to name all of them, just like the um, the weapon reduction damage for pretty much all the weapons in Battlefield 4, but um, there are so many more changes that um, I'm not gonna go all over them, and um, just as I announced at the beginning of the video, let's just dive straight into the effects of no visual recoil. Is this a good thing or is this a bad thing? Now for you guys that don't know what visual recoil is, it's basically the animation of recoil without the recoil actually being there. So yeah, that is kind of confusing, but um, actually you see your weapon going up, while the actual recoil where your bullets are going aren't going up the same path. So that has now been completely removed from Battlefield 4. Now right off the bat when you start playing after this patch, you're gonna notice one thing. All the weapons are having a lot and a lot less recoil. Or well, at least the, the actual recoil is pretty much the same, but the visual recoil has been removed. So it feels like there is barely any recoil. Now this has a couple of effects. One, that um, it's gonna be easier for you to take out targets. So for new players, it's gonna be easier to get into the game. And for experienced players with a good aim, it's gonna be way easier to kill your targets because you don't have to burst fire as much because you don't see your gun swinging up and down like it used to be. But you can just stay on target much and much more easier, even if you are a new player. 
Now, another good thing about this is that bullets are going where you're actually aiming, because before you, you got the, the visual recoil, which does not um, go hand in hand with the actual recoil, so you see your aim at the guy, but the actual bullets aren't going at that guy, so that has now been completely removed, so your bullets are actually going where you're aiming. Now let's go ahead and move into the negatives of um, having no visual recoil. Well, I named that um, it's easier as a positive, but you can also take that as a negative because the learning curve is going to be much smaller for new players. So if you're an experienced player, it's going to be easier for you, but um, it's also, it, it might not be fair because it's just easier for new players to learn how to handle guns and how recoil works and it's going to take the learning curve and some sort of the skill as well out of the game. So that might be considered as a disadvantage. Now I've also heard some complaints from people that usually only play as a recon that they are going to get shot so and so much quicker than they used to be and that sniping is harder for them than it used to be. Now I can see where they're coming from, I mean it's very agitating when you get killed with a noob with the AK-12 shooting you from halfway across the map because the gun has no recoil, but then again because of the damage reduction of the guns, I, I don't really think that um, this is a negative. But um, the video is coming to an end right now, and if you have your own thoughts about having no visual recoil on Battlefield 4, then just leave that in the comments down below, I'd love to see what all of you guys, the Battlefield community, thinks about this. So um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video then don't hesitate to hit the like button as it really does help me out a lot. But um, anyways, this was our purr, and I thank you all for watching.